President Obama is now being taken to task for asking Marines to shield him during a news conference rain shower. He asked them to hold umbrellas over his head, over his head, over his head, over his head. Check out the picture of the Marines holding the umbrella for President Obama as it rained and the metaphor being, hey, they have him covered. Wouldn't it be nice? <laughs> if he had them covered the way they have him covered. Mm. He asked Marines for umbrellas. The president called in a couple of Marines for umbrella duty. Many people complain, saying Marines have been through too much training to have to hold an umbrella. This shot of the president emerged. President Obama hiding under an umbrella. Hit the airwaves yesterday. Look at that Marine standing so erect. It was a symbolic moment today when the Marines came out and put the umbrella. They were protecting him. Maybe in this case, he should have been protecting them. Is there a more apt visual than this one? The disembodied arm of a U.S. Marine holding an umbrella over the head of our beleaguered commander in chief for him in the middle of a rainstorm. The Marines aren't supposed to do that because they can't properly salute. What is now being called Umbrella Gate. The blog Hot Air is demanding justice for the Marines. These guys aren't valets. I mean, I guess he could have held it himself, right? I don't know. Yes, bring forth the umbrellas unto me. American flag pin is standard accessory for just about every politician and candidate in the country these days, but not Barack Obama. He stayed in Johnson County to give a speech in Iowa City, and he wasn't wearing an American flag pin. Flag pin? Flag pin? Presidential contender Barack Obama won't wear an American flag lapel pin. The reporter for ABC's Cedar Rapids affiliate was the first to notice. They asked him about the flag pin. He didn't have really good answers. A no pin zone. You're taking the pin, taking the, the pin American off. flag, right. off of you and saying, I'm not going to wear it, almost in a little bit of a, a protest, I guess. I think he's disrespecting the American flag. He's got to apologize to the people, for example, that are working the fields. There were Marines, we're in the Army. It and that's what the something to our troops. Why do we wear pins? Because our country was under attack. Barack, put on the pin. They just hate the flag. Well, President Obama and the First Lady are taking their tradition of date night on the road this weekend. The first couple are heading for New York. They went out to dinner and they went to see a Broadway show. And they had an um, extravagant date night. Date night. Date night. They took a small Gulfstream jet. They're also using Marine One, which cost about 20,000 bucks an hour. Traffic has stopped, as you can see. The show waited 45 minutes. They want to go to Broadway. They want to go out to dinner. They hold hands. So according to our calculator, the cost is between 50 and $100,000. I'm just saying the taxpayer expense, the flying a private jet here. So, she should hold. have also acquiesced to less extravagance during a time of war and during a time of an economic uh. crisis. It is inappropriate while a country is suffering for him to spend 350 grand, you know, to take a picture of the Statue of Liberty when you stay can home. Photoshop Come it on, for 20 bucks home. as extravagantly with three planes, two helicopters. He maybe should have chosen a less extravagant kind of a date night. But shouldn't the taxpayers pick up the bill? Barack Obama is a millionaire. He can pay the tab himself. Why shouldn't he? Think about the message that President Obama and Mrs. Obama are giving to their two daughters. That we'd be willing to disrupt other people's lives around us. The emails yeah, the are pouring in on this. The White House declined to say how much the trip was costing taxpayers. Boy, we'd like to know, like that Air Force One fly over for the photos. We'd like to know. Sure that. The President of the United States bowing to the King of Saudi Arabia. Obama's controversial bow. 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 This President bowed before the Saudi king to bow or just bending over. The White House said that wasn't a bow, but it sure looked like one. Here it is. He comes in, literally bows below his head and below his shoulder.
doing. He showed the world that I am subservient. I do owe, uh, bow down to you as a Muslim king. So this man loves to bow. Well, look how so, low. Just, wait, I want to show for our audience. Look, go back. If we can re-rack that. Watch how low he is. He's below his shoulder. It sent a message that Islam is superior to any other master or king or president in the world. I think it's best if American presidents do what they have always done, which is do not bow to monarchs. But I think a White House which feels compelled to lie about the most trivial thing uh, is really pathetic. As you all know, President Obama is a real man of the people, and yesterday he dropped by a popular Virginia restaurant to grab a burger with his pal Joe. Now take a look at him ordering his burger with a very special condiment. Condiment. Just a, your basic cheddar cheeseburger, medium well. I just want mustard, no ketchup. If you got uh, like a spicy mustard or something like that, or a Dijon mustard, something like that, Dijon mustard, something like that. A Dijon mustard, something like that. President, Vice President had hamburgers for lunch. President reportedly had Dijon mustard. Do you ask if they had any Dijon mustard? mustard? Who eats a cheeseburger with Dijon mustard? <laughs> what is that? He doesn't like ketchup. What kind of man orders a cheeseburger without ketchup but Dijon mustard? All right, I hope you enjoyed that fancy burger, Mr. President. And the latest presidential video project, well, it's getting a lot of attention, but perhaps not in the way the White House intended. The president joking around with a selfie stick. A selfie stick. A selfie stick. A selfie stick. President Obama appeared with a selfie stick. Critics called it undignified. A lot of conservatives especially said this is not presidential. This is beneath the presidency. Why is he doing this? He's demeaning the office. Quote. A foolproof way to make yourself look like a self-absorbed ass clown. You know, it's said that Ronald Reagan wouldn't even take his jacket off in the Oval Office, but now we have a commander-in-chief that's doing jump shots and actually, a, what is it, a stick selfie? I mean, it, it's ridiculous. Tonight's question of the day. What do you think of that selfie? Yeah. That's your president. He's got a selfie stick. One conservative tweeted, quote, remember when the office of the president has dignity. And another wrote, quote, this definitely is a new low for our juvenile president. Here's the leader of the free world, the guy we trust with the button for the nukes, acting like a 12-year-old. It is ridiculous. It is beneath the president of the United States, but I think he thinks he can do no wrong. It is not only not befitting, but imagine what Reagan would have done in this situation. You saw it's that he employed that. a but selfie a, stick in the White well, House. It's, that's it's, that's it's, befitting the it's, office. It's, I just don't have words for that clip. Are we seeing um, a changing of the guard? Is the, is the office not going to be as dignified as it used to be? Now the president is under fire again, this time for his clothes. 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 Former George W. Bush Chief of Staff Andrew Card says the Obama dress code is way too laid back. I wish that he would uh, wear a, a suit coat and a tie. There was something about this picture that really irritated the forces loyal to the last president. It shows Obama in the Oval Office not wearing a coat, but he is wearing a tie there. The president in the Oval Office without his jacket on. His photograph without his jacket while in the Oval Office, something I'll remind you that Ronald Reagan never did. I'm disappointed to see the casual, laissez-faire, shirt sleeves, no shirt and tie, no jacket, kind of locker room experience that seems to be taking place in this uh, White House. something I'll remind you that Ronald Reagan never did. There's one more thing that has many Americans, including myself, humiliated today. Take a look at the photo comparison of our commander in chief. There he is juxtaposed with Vladimir Putin. They have no respect for our president, for his weakness. Weakness, 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 weakness. He wears a helmet when he rides a bike. The picture of him riding the bike with the, with the bike helmet while Putin's got the his shirt off. Shirtless on the horse and all that, and Obama was riding a bike with a helmet on.
sure it says a thousand words. Here's, watch. Oh my goodness. Which one? You want to talk about the Ukraine for a second? It all began with the picture of President Obama on the bicycle with the helmet, and now we're paying a price for that. Putin, big, strong, muscular, on a horse. There's Obama okay, riding a little bicycle <laughs> with a with a helmet on. Uh, a leisure, not not like a, a real racing bike. I mean, right. just going out for leisurely. And he's got this dumb hat on, right, right. dumb helmet on. This is humiliating. It's unnecessary. You deserve better. We as a country deserve better, and we can do better. And new developments tonight on the fallout from what many are calling President Obama's latte salute. Everyone's talking about the disrespectful way the president saluted a Marine yesterday with his latte in his hand. Here's the other problem with the, with the picture. He has a free hand. The other hand, he's holding his tie down. He, his heart wasn't in it. How disrespectful was that? A Marine manual states, do not salute, quote, when carrying articles with both hands or being otherwise so occupied as to make saluting impractical. Floppy, ill thought out, inappropriate, callous, selfish, and disrespectful. Are we surprised? For, I mean, after all, we got a chai swilling, golf playing, basketball trash talking, uh, Osama bin Laden is dead, GM is alive, a community organizer and commander in chief. How disrespectful was that? The president came out addressing reporters on Thursday and he was wearing this tan suit. Tan suit. President Obama's decision to wear a light tan suit at yesterday's news conference. He was wearing a tan suit. Light tan suit. I, I think it was shocking to a lot of people. Is this an effort to make him look warmer? There's no way I think any of us can excuse what the president did yesterday. I mean, and then for him to walk out. I'm not trying to be trivial here, but in a light suit, uh, like tan suit. Also known as tan gate. Tan suit and how the tan suit made him look unpresidential. Whoever talked him into going into a tan suit, they're so desperate because of these low poll numbers, they're willing to do anything. The tan suit made him look unpresidential. 